Hi guys, welcome back. This is Maths 3000. Today I'm going to show you how to work out the nth term for pattern number n. So let's have a look at the two examples that we have here. Okay, so the first thing you need to do then is count how many squares you've got in each pattern number. So in the first pattern we have four squares. In the second pattern we've got seven squares. And in the third pattern we have ten squares. Okay, so this is our first term, this is our second term, this is our third term. Okay, so let's just look at what the sequence is going up in. So it's looking like we're adding on three each time. So this tells us that the nth term has something to do with the three times table. So what I'm going to do is multiply the pattern numbers by three. So one times three is three, two times three is six, three times three is nine. And then what do we do to these three times tables to give us the numbers in the sequence? Well, it looks like we just need to add one to our multiples of three. So what we've done then, we've multiplied the number at the top, the pattern number by three, and we've added on one, and it gives you the number in the sequence. So we just need to write this down in algebra. So we've multiplied the pattern number n by 3, so that would be written down as 3n. And then we just need to add 1. So let's have a look at the second example then. So first of all, we're going to count how many squares we've got in each pattern. So we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So there's 6 in the first pattern. In the second pattern, we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And in the third pattern, we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, so this uh, pattern then is going up in twos. So we're going to multiply the top numbers by 2. Because the formula has something to do with the 2 times table. So 1 times 2 is 2. 2 2 is a 4. 3 2 is a 6. And then let's just see what we do to these multiples of 2 to give us the number in the sequence. And it looks like we need to add 4 to 2 to give us 6. And this works on the second one and it works on the third one. So what we've done then is we've multiplied the pattern number by 2 and we've added on 4. So our nth term will be 2n plus 4. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, make sure you like and subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye.